Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to change the background color of this web page using a couple of form inputs. Okay, so this will be a little bit inefficient, but I want to change the background color of this page first via a text box, then via a color input. So this will be kind of a solution video for a very beginner skill we had in a JavaScript class recently. And the challenge was don't use the color input uh, field. Instead, use a basic text box. User types in a color and background color changes to that color on the click of a button. No need for any kind of error checking and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started. Since I know in the body of my page, I'm going to be asking the user to type in a color. I need an input type equals text box. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a name. So I'll use uh, ID equals color input T for color input. I'll just do color input pet text. Sounds good. And then I will do an input type equals button. ID equals uh, color button. And I'm going to put a value on this button, something to display to the user. And I'll just say uh, click to change color. Perfect. So let's save that, head on over to the browser, refresh, and I can see I've got a standard text box and I do have a little button um, to go along with it. So now for the script. My script is going to go here in the body section near the bottom of the body and I will use a function for it and I'll just call it a change color. I'll spell color properly. And it's going to be a simple two line function here. First I'm going to declare a variable called color and that's going to be equal to it's going to be equal to the value entered in this text box. So I need to choose color input text. So the value of the text box in my document is going to be assigned to the color variable. Now that I've got that color, I need to apply it to the background color of the page. So in my document dot body dot dot style dot background color equals the color variable. Now it can be um, tough to of course know what the conversion is from the CSS property to the JavaScript value, or I'm sorry, uh, a property from the CSS property to the JavaScript property. So let me just jump over to the web real quick and these are pretty easy. If you're familiar with a lot of the CSS properties, just do a Google search for CSS background color, even though I spelled it wrong. And W3Schools is not bad. Some people uh, diss W3Schools, but it's got a lot of good information presented in a simple way. So go ahead and click on this and you'll find in here, they'll tell you what the JavaScript syntax is for these CSS properties. So of course for CSS, it's background hyphen color, but for JavaScript, it is background color in camel case. So no spaces, no hyphens, but a capital C for the word color. So that does come in handy to be able to use that as a resource. It's quick and easy to look up. So I'll be changing the color of the background color via style of the body of the page in my document. So control S to save. I think I'm pretty good. However, I do need some kind of an event handler. Um, I think for now I will just do an on click and inline event. On click equals change color. So I'm just going to basically, and I'll put this on a separate line. So when the button is clicked, my change color function will be triggered. Control S to save over to the browser, refresh and give it a quick try. RED red, change color. There we go. And blue, change color. Perfect. And we should be able to type a hex code in. Um, how about the FFC, which is a light shade of yellow. Cool, that's working. I suppose we could also do an RGB value, so something like RGB parentheses um, 200, 0, 200. That should be a pretty bright purple. And that works too. So that's not a bad way to go. However, you can't really expect your users to type color names or hex codes, or RGB values into those text box fields. So instead of, instead of using input type text, how about if we use input type equals color, which is pretty neat. And I'll do ID equals color input, and this is color. So I'm going to change out the input type, and I'm just going to do a couple little changes here. The button can stay the same, but I think I'll change getting the value from my 
color input. Control S to save, browser refresh. So I'm not going to use that text box anymore. Now my browser gives me this nice little color chooser. I click on this, I can choose all kinds of colors under the sun, and I change the brightness there. I'll click OK and then click to change color and now I'm going to get that particular color. A lot easier to choose that way. And I'll go ahead and make one little modification to the script here. I'm going to document dot get element by ID color input text value equals color. So whatever the color I pick from my color input, the hex code is now going to be displayed as the value of my text box. So head back over to the browser, refresh, let's try it out. And I'll choose that orange over there, OK, change color. And now I've got the color change and the hex code over there. So the color picker is pretty good. It's been out for a few years now, so it should have good browser support. It looks pretty much the same in Edge, Firefox, and Chrome browsers. I'm using Opera at the moment, so should get a nice feedback. I'm not sure what it looks like in Safari, but it should be pretty similar. So there you go, just a little bit about using some input fields, form inputs, in order to change the background color of the page. Uh, sliders could be kind of cool. Input type range might be a neat thing to try.